Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft and I'm going to show you how you can replicate virtual machines to Microsoft Azure using Azure Site Recovery directly from Windows Admin Center. Okay, here I'm back in Windows Admin Center and I use Windows Admin Center to manage a couple of different servers. Uh, these can be application servers, but it also manages Hyper-V uh, virtualization servers. So I go in one of my Hyper-V servers here and I scroll down to virtual machines. And you can see here, I'm running six virtual machines and one is turned off. I can also go into the inventory, have a quick look here, and I can see all the virtual machines which are running, how much CPU and memory they are using. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna protect a couple of these virtual machines by replicam replicate them to Microsoft Azure. So in case of a disaster or a hardware outage of that Hyper-V server, I can start up the virtual machines in Azure and basically start using the application directly in the Azure network. So for that, I first need to set up my Hyper-V host with Site Recovery. I click on Update Now. And it gives me that uh, configuration center. So I will quickly create a new resource group. And in that, uh, in that configuration, I will also create a new recovery world. And then I will choose a location where I want to replicate. So in my case, it will be West Europe. Now I will click on Setup Now, and this will create, again, everything within Azure. It will create the resource group. It will create the, Azure, uh, the recovery world. And it will also set up the agent used to replicate virtual machines on the Hyper-V host. So this will take a couple of minutes um, and I will see you guys in, in, in a couple of minutes. Okay, after a while the host setup is done. So if you look at the notifications, we can see that the host setup successfully finished. So this means all the Azure resources as are created as well as the agent is installed on the Hyper-V server. So now let's replicate the virtual machine to Azure. So for that, I'm gonna pick the app 02 uh, and select protect VM and you can see now here it already picked for me the subscription the location the recovery world uh, the only thing I need to do is I need to create a new storage account so I will give it ASR work and since it needs to be unique a couple of numbers and now I will say uh, protect VM this will now start the protection process and configure Hyper-V Replica to replicate the virtual machine to Azure. Now, after a while, you can see that the setup for this virtual machine is done. And if we have a look at that virtual machine, you can see the status is now on replicating. If we quickly switch to the Azure portal, and we are here now in the Azure uh, recovery world we use to replicate those virtual machines, if I go to replicated items, you can see that here my app 02 uh, shows up and that the synchronization uh, with the local machine is running. So let's go back to the uh, portal. And let's come back uh, when the replication is finished. Okay, the initial replication now is done. So if you have a look at the repl replication status, you can see the virtual machine is now protected. If we switch to the replicated items in Azure, we can also see that this VM, the app 02, has now the status protected and is healthy. So the latest replication um, were successful. If I wanna fail over this virtual machine now, because for example, my Hyper-V host has failed or my data center uh, is down, uh, I simply click on that VM and I have a couple of different options to fail over the virtual machine. Obviously, I can just fail over the virtual machine, so the last replication status will get restored. Uh, this is exactly what I want in the case of a downtime of the data center. However, I have also planned failover and test failover. Planned failover allows me to basically replicate the virtual machine again, shut down the virtual machine, have the latest changes, 
uh, and basically start up the virtual machine in Azure. This is the perfect scenario if you also want to migrate a virtual machine to Azure. And then with the test failover, you basically can test the virtual machine in a different virtual network to see if the replication really worked and every if the application is running inside that virtual machine. You also can see an overview here uh, a little bit about the environment. You can see which storage account is attached uh, and you get all that information. This is especially handy when you um, replicate a couple of different virtual machines from different hosts. Windows Admin Center makes it super easy to just configure the replication to Azure using Azure Site Recovery. 